Hi Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for July 2020 and I'm doing the five card spread sorry, the nine card spread um, and this is the Quirin card or the overall energy um, uh, the first week, second week, third week and fourth week and the corner cards are the clarifiers either clarifying the three cards around it or the three cards clarifying the Lenormand card. I'm not using the cartomancy or the numerology this week. And I've got the Romance Oracle and the uh, advice or task at hand suggestion uh, that could help you and an answer from the angels. Now if you, you are my cyber angel then welcome and thank you very much for all your likes and shares and you've come in on sixth place um, at 51 sorry you've come in on the fifth place so I've made a mistake I'm only human Scorpio uh, came in fifth uh, thought with Virgo uh, sorry no Scorpio came in fifth and um, you came in sixth sorry and uh, you have had a lot of likes thank you very much and if you would like to be the first zodiac sign uh, on the list uh, like Gemini Gemini had a hundred and four uh, Gemini had a hundred and twenty four and then Capricorn with a hundred and eighteen so please give us the the likes and you can be the first you can also find more information below the video in the description box and in the right hand uh, corner on the right hand side at the top. If you would like an extended reading then please pick, uh, send me an email. And of course uh, I go uh, live uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday so if you are new welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy the readings. Have a look at your weeklies as I also put out weeklies and dailies. Um, also welcome to the live sessions on those days. Um, if you subscribe and hit the bell on all then you should be notified. I do also send out notifications on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and I think that is the oh yes the co the competition is cancelled because nobody joined in the competition so unfortunately um, that is not continuing um, I will be doing something on Facebook in a closed group so if you if you do want to win the decks then please join me in the closed group um, in July uh, and we'll start afresh um, but there will be more news uh, when I'm going to do that. I have to think of a new project. Okay, and what uh, came out on Friday, that's what came out in the discussion on Friday about the competition. And we had a lovely uh, interaction with all uh, my cyber angels and new people. And we all interacted together and what came out is that uh, all the viewers wanted uh, more often interaction with each other and with me. Okay, I do give away free cards on when I go live, except when on on Friday, and I also uh, answer questions in the live sessions that uh, are supported by a donation. Donation being super chat or a super sticker. Okay, let's get started, Aquarius, with your reading. And I do miss you because uh, you um, sometimes tend to keep quiet, but I hope this reading will get you out of your shell. First of all, you come in as um, the fool. Take that leap of faith. Take that jump. Take the plunge. There is a new beginning for you. That all that could be the overall energy that there are possibilities to for, for you to take that leap of faith. 
then in the first week we have the page of cups and the page of cups is Pisces so you might be meeting a Pisces or getting news from Pisces but don't exclude Scorpio or Cancer this could be a love message or this could be a message or news about passion awesome the second week you might feel tied up or you might not be able to see clearly what is happening around you you have the eight of swords you might feel trapped you might be too much in your head thinking shall I take that leap of faith shall uh, my partner or potential partner contact me they might be away on a business trip they might be away on holiday and if you're no not hooked up with anybody they might have because the lockdown is easing up um, and they might have taken the plunge to go on holiday quickly okay so you might be separated from somebody so that could be going on in your head you might make all kinds of scenarios so come out of your head you can see that her hands are free so throw away or shrug off these uh, bandages or rope and take off that blindfold and look what is happening in front of you not only that but what is happening around you so where is that leap of faith where is this new beginning okay you have to be able to perceive visually auditively what is happening around you so take that blindfold off and step through the opening of the swords in the third week you are making plans for the future this could be with the water sign or anybody else it could also be an earth sign but you're making plans for the future as you have the two of rods perhaps you might be making plans to go out and um, get to know each other much better if you're not hooked up and you've just met somebody in the first week then you might be taking them out or you might get an invitation to go out Ooh and you're planning to what to wear or how to look and to feel your best and your greatest and we are in the energy of cancer so that means love passion nurturing caring sensuality and sexuality so open your solar plex and your hearts then you can feel what is what the senses are in a situation listen to your intuition then you won't feel tied up if you open up okay the world is your oyster now we've got another person card here and that is the knight of pentacles so you could be hearing from uh, a taurus a virgo or a capricorn well Aquarius this could also be news about something that's durable and for long term this could be uh, about a job this perhaps you might have felt tied down because you didn't have the expenses to look good or to take care of yourself be nurturing to yourself if you're not meeting a water sign then you might want to nurture yourself make beautify yourself so that you feel sense uh, sensual and sexy or handsome or this could be about uh, 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 an investment this could be an investment in uh, somebody an earth sign a water sign or anybody else for that matter and you might be that is news so news is coming your way it could be um, an invitation to go out it could also be a proposal boom somebody's got your their eye on you that's the feeling I'm getting and that's why I was just silent because I heard there is more than meets the eye okay so get that blindfold off so that you can see what is happening around you 
look at this you've got the heart so there is more at stake and more happening behind the scenes for you and you cannot see it so open your heart open your solar plex you have choices to make and there's definitely love in the air and if you are partnered up then you are not seeing it perhaps that there is love in the air because the energy is so positive it's slowed down and it is a, a, a loving sensual and caring energy at the moment and cancer is slower uh, in the energy but definitely secure um, Gemini was fast going and action and swiftness spontaneity fun and now it, the fun is turning to seriousness for long term and durability have faith take that leap of faith I think you've met your your soulmate your you've lost your heart most of you are also seeing potential partners uh, or your present partner um, as a new beginning a next level perhaps perhaps buying a house together and you're getting news or a proposal of marriage or living together or even working together because you've got the fish and the fish means business is thriving again and also l luck at work luck in business okay investment card perhaps you might get an offer to come and join in and be a partner listen to your intuition know your boundaries and let them know what your boundaries are and know their boundaries because Aquarius you are an air sign and you are swift and you are fast and you you are spontaneous you've got the gift of the gab you can sell very well um, you are also an air sign so get the clarity across to the other one and these are gentle hearts pentacles and water and they might not be able to cope with your swiftness okay so show your nurturing and caring side because air signs do fall hook line and sinker when they fall in love you see that the world is your oyster you want everything you want to give the world to your partner or your potential partner what I also see if um, a relationship did go sour and wasn't and you weren't communicating because you couldn't see things there will be an opportunity to celebrate because you've got the garden and the garden means coming together partying celebrating presentations meetings gatherings so you will have to do the speak and the walk you can do the walk so you can do the talk you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos and remember be charming use your charm and also be clear you catch more fish oh sorry I've got fish on the brain you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar <laughs> uh, fish yeah uh, fish are emotions they have no boundaries because they swim in the water only on land do we have boundaries from one country to the next so make sure you know your boundaries and their boundaries S take a step back and so be gentle take it step by step by all means be emotional if need be show your love show your passion okay that could be a reunion okay that could be a reunion though somebody could come back from the past you could have had an argument with somebody it could be a fire sign it says rods and these are the rods or staves so you might have had a disagreement with somebody okay but 
they might be missing you and they are coming back or you might meet them at a birthday or a celebration or a meeting you lost to your heart to them before perhaps and perhaps you are longing for them and missing them and you're not seeing it the opportunity is there for this new start so rods this is quite strange that the word rods come in we usually call this the broom and whip but in this deck it's called the rods and it's lying next to the two of rods so take time out and reconsider find out what they've been doing how they are or and where they are at I think this is not only a romance reading but I think this is also got to do with an invitation or an offer of working together okay now you've got two messages here although it is a romance reading separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon well this is not a permanent separation like I said somebody might have gone on holiday and you might be apart from a while so somebody's coming back you might have had an argument and you didn't agree that they were going to go away for this business trip or on holiday but they're going to come back and there will be celebrations and gatherings okay you have from the surrender card you have surrender your desire to control people perhaps they felt imprisoned and that's why you had um, an argument with you okay perhaps they felt imprisoned but they do love you and they will be back and if you're not hooked up perhaps you had an argument with somebody else that you lost your heart to from the past and they're coming back now so remember what happened in the past okay and try to let go of being over controlling okay I'll read it again being over control can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals back off regroup and give the situation some breathing room a year from now a year from now is the answer from the angels I don't think oh in a year's time they will be back but you will see how much you have grown if you take this advice from the surrender deck don't be over controlling you've got your life they've got their life but you've also got a life together partners you are soulmates most probably that's the feeling that I get and you will have to take a leap of faith would you like to invest in this relationship they do love you the investment of love is here and I think they will send you an invitation of love to reinvest so long you know your boundaries and know their boundaries and don't cross the boundaries have respect for each other very strong message beautiful I hope this makes sense to you if it doesn't uh, resonate with you then have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign I hope you enjoyed this uh, Aquarius please like and share especially if you would like to be the first reading of the week or the month for the romance readings and thank you and I hope to see you in the life and if not in the next video so have a beautiful July and have faith take care and be blessed